The jury has returned with a verdict in the trial of Maria Garcia, accused of the 2017 West Side Street slaying of a 36 year old man. We're waiting to learn what that verdict is. Meantime, today in court, consistency and credibility, both of those words pre played prominently in closing arguments during Garcia's murder trial as her attorneys questioned the credibility of the state's witnesses. And prosecutors insisted they were not only credible, but their testimony was consistent. Here's our Paul Venema. A verbal argument followed by a brief fight, then gunfire. 36-year-old John Anthony Seguin fell dead in the street, a single gunshot wound to the head. That's the person that shot and killed John Anthony. Prosecutor Jason Garahan reminded the jury of previous testimony about that argument between Seguin and 49-year-old Maria Dolores Garcia that preceded the shooting. This defendant roughly two hours before was chasing John Anthony around a parking lot just down the street at Daniel's Food Mart, throwing rocks at him. He argued that four witnesses identified Garcia as the killer. Time and again, the defense asked the jury to consider the credibility of the state's witnesses. With the exception of one, they pointed out, all had a criminal history, and several admitted they were drug addicts. But is that somebody that we throw away? Is that somebody we just toss to the side and say, not in here, don't come in here. You shouldn't be here. Among those witnesses, a man whose street name is Capone. The defense suggested that was significant. Right here on the curve, in front of where everybody's hanging out, we've got scrawled across the curb there, Capone. We simply don't have a clear picture of what happened there that night, Brooks argued, and certainly not enough to convict Maria Garcia of murder. Paul Venema, KSAT 12 News.